The other night, I was watching a live stream on YouTube, which I don't usually do, and it was probably an error in judgment on my part. It was a, a live stream, I can't remember the name of the channel, but it was one guy having a live debate against an entire Discord server of Flat Earthers. Now, I think the debate probably went on for a few hours, but I only watched it for about 30 minutes, because after that long, I could start to feel my brain cells dying. But it reminded me of my all-time favourite Flat Earth argument. And now, it's my all-time favourite because it is probably the most common argument that gets thrown out by Flat Earthers to try and prove that the Earth is flat, and yet it actually disproves their own theory. It is, of course, the I can't see the curvature. <laughs> they portray it as there is no curvature, but really what they're saying is they can't see it. Now, you're probably familiar with all this anyway, but we're taught the Earth's a sphere, and some people believe that that's a lie, and in fact the Earth is a flat disk. And their argument to try and prove this, or one of the arguments that they use to, to suggest this, is if you go and stand at the seaside, looking out to sea, com completely empty horizon, you can't see any curvature. Except, I think they must think, I'm borrowing this for a second, they must think the Earth's the size of a tennis ball. You would expect to see curvature with a very small ball, because the curvature, the curve arc is very tight. But with a very large ball, the curvature becomes more and more gradual. There is actually a very well-known example that someone created to explain this using a basketball and a very heavily mag magnified macro lens. And if you put the macro lens close enough to the surface of even a basketball, which is blindingly obviously a sphere, it appears flat. And even then, in that relative distance, if you look, that lens is a couple of centimeters above the basketball, which if you scale up that basketball to the size of the Earth, that lens is probably like a, a good 100 plus miles in the air, maybe even more than that. It's much higher than most weather balloons will go. So the idea of seeing a left to right curvature with the naked eye at sea level is frankly ludicrous. Although that doesn't that doesn't mean there isn't a curvature there because again even this is actually provable with the right equipment. You need a very high resolution camera and by high resolution I don't mean a 100 megapixel smartphone. I mean you know decent consumer level camera and a good optical quality lens that is able to render that sort of resolution in reasonable detail. And you have a piece of apparatus that is basically two straight bars with a line running through the middle of them. So it creates a perfectly straight line. You put the left edge of the horizon up against the left edge of the bar, the right edge of the horizon up against the right edge of the bar. And if the horizon is flat, then it should run perfectly through the center line in the middle but it doesn't. It actually goes slightly above it because there is a very gradual curve. It is only very, very slight, but it is there. So there is curvature visible low to the ground, but it is only very slight. But flat earthers like to ignore that. They go, okay, well, in that case, why don't we stick a GoPro to a weather balloon and we'll send it, you know, 80, 90, 100,000 plus feet into the air, and we'll see if we can see some curvature there. Now this one gets a little bit stupid because most of the time they are using things like GoPros and action cameras that use fisheye lenses. And now those cameras use fisheye lenses because they're able to see very, very wide fields of view and they don't need to have complicated optical designs trying to correct distortion. So it allows them to be much smaller. The downside to it is that they distort straight lines or they distort any lines for that matter. Any line that is across the center of the image, either horizontal or vertical, will be rendered as it's intended, as it's supposed to look. But any line below that center line starts to get warped in that direction, and any line above the center line gets warped in that direction. So if you have a very faint curved line, but you put it below the center line of a fisheye lens, the distortion is going to correct it, level it out. And I've genuinely seen people post me screenshots from these sorts of weather balloons going, look, it looks flat when the horizon's running very clearly, like halfway down the frame. 
There's another well-known photograph that was taken by a RAF tornado pilot of Concorde at 70,000 feet. And you can clearly see the curvature to the horizon. And the horizon's in the middle of the frame. And Concorde's below the center line, and it's straight. So that's not a fisheye lens, because otherwise the, the plane would be curved. Unless Concorde was already bent and I didn't realize, and the curvature's just getting straightened out. And it can't be the canopy for the same reason. The plane, Concorde, looks perfectly flat. So the horizon is curved, but even if you're a flat earther and you ignore all that anyway, the very fact that flat earthers are trying to argue that the, there is no visible curvature anyway is ludicrous. Ludicrous for the fact that it disproves their own argument because they're trying to claim there's no visible curvature, so the Earth must be a flat disk. Except, for example, here I have a pizza tray. Now, I think we can all agree, regardless of flat Earth or not, I think we can all agree that that is not a sphere, okay? That is a flat disk. And yet, so if we imagine that this is the flat disk of an Earth, and I put the camera above the center of it, so that you now appear to be a weather balloon floating above it, that is not a flat horizon, that is curved. If you go and stand in a football field, if you go and stand in the middle of a football pitch in the center circle, that is a flat circle that you are standing in the middle of, it's curved. You can't draw a straight line from it because it's a circle, which means that the only way to have a straight line horizon is with a straight lined edge, which would then mean that the Earth would have to be a square, not a circle, except you would then have great big corners sticking out that we obviously don't see. So any flat earther is using this argument of, well, there's no curvature from a video on a weather balloon. It's just shooting their own argument in the face of suggesting that the Earth is a disk. I mean, it becomes more hilarious that they haven't worked out yet that it seems in every single one of these videos of a weather balloon taking a GoPro up, the horizon is always equal distance in every direction. Doesn't matter where in the world the balloons launch from, the horizon always ends up equal distance in every direction. On a flat disc, only happens when you're directly above the center, which either means that every single weather balloon with a GoPro on that people are launching takes off, happens to fly thousands of miles to straight above the North Pole and up, and then when the balloon bursts, it happens to come back down on the exact same path right back to where it started. Or you're above a sphere where it doesn't matter where you are on the surface of it, you go straight up, you're always looking at the same size cross-section in every direction. Anyway, that is going to conclude this particular rant. As always, Feel free to chime in with your thoughts in the comments down below while you're down there. If you enjoyed the video and you haven't already done so, then please consider hitting the like and subscribe button, and then hopefully we'll see you in the next video.